Hello, all of you amazing viewers, and welcome back to another Matt Vid Pro video. Speaking of video, video quality. If you have ever been a creator that records videos, actual video footage, like I have, you'll know about the struggles to get good video quality, especially with different cameras. A lot of camera companies actually don't support really nice video quality on their cameras. We could literally take this for example. This camera that I record on here has really nice autofocus, but only in 1080p. As you can see, focus really nice on there, and it'll go right back to my face. It has that feature. Not in 4K, it doesn't. Unfortunately, I probably would record in 4K, but the autofocus is garbage in 4K. And why does Canon do this? Who knows? If you want nice autofocus, you gotta pay like an extra $400 on the camera. Well, today we have something that might actually be able to alleviate this problem for us. AI is going to help us alleviate this problem, which of course, as you guys know, is what we love to cover on this channel. That is right, folks. Today, we're going to be covering AI video enhancement. This company, AVC Labs, reached out to me and they said, hey, would you like to do a video on our AI video enhancer tool? And they also have an image upscaler as well. So this is like video upscaling. And to me, this seems like it'd be something that's really difficult to do. I haven't tested it out yet, but I am very excited. And they have also sponsored me to make this video today. So full disclosure, this video is sponsored, but I'm never going to sponsor a product that I think is going to turn out to be a bad video for you viewers. And I'm never going to lie about a product either. So today we're going to be putting this one to the test and seeing if we can't upscale some 1080p video into 4K video. I am so excited because this is technology that I have wanted as a YouTube creator for a very long time. We've also got some features here on the website I'd like to point out, which really entice me. We can apparently utilize some sort of multi-frame enhancement to improve the visual quality, upscale video resolution from low to high with super resolution, that's what we're looking for, sharpen slash recover faces from blurry video and enhance facial details. Here's another thing just outside of upscaling video, for example, if you are, you know, recording a video with your camera, it doesn't have great autofocus to begin with, which my old camera did not, and you mess up the focus, well, that face that you recorded might be completely out of focus. This says that maybe you could actually fully recover that blurry video and enhance facial details. And it also says you can remove noise and grain from the video to make it clearer than the original, and that's very boastful if you know anything about the camera world. That is something that you bite quite a lot in the camera world. If you're not recording outside, you're recording inside. Depending on the camera, depending on factors, you can have a very grainy and noisy, gross looking photo or video. And it happens a lot with smartphones too. So you could potentially enhance like smartphone low light footage using AI, which is really intriguing. You can also add Gaussian or image blur to moving faces in the video with AI. So, you know, if you're recording in public for a YouTube channel, for example, and you have people in the background that don't want their face shown, you can blur those out. Supports deinterlacing, cropping, clipping, GPU, and Tensor RT accelerations. They show us some examples here. They go from 640 by 360 to 4K. That's pretty nuts to see if this is an actual real demonstration. That is so cool. They've got four different models provided in the upscaling. I mean, you're going to be upscaling video that's probably going to be higher than 640 by 360. But also, I just had this thought, what if you were upscaling like old homemade movies or something? Like, like we actually just found in my attic these old home videos recently, and it might be really cool to actually try to recover those old home movies. If you do actually decide you wanted to pay for this after trying it for free, they've got it for Windows and Mac. 40 bucks a month if you want to just do a one month plan. If you want to do a whole year, that's 120 bucks. From a YouTube channel perspective, I really could see this being useful if you go out and record a lot of video in some tough situations. Like if you were like a ghost hunting channel, that's a completely random and crazy example there. But ghost hunting would have a lot of low light video footage, low quality video footage that could need some enhancement. So I could see, you know, 120 bucks for a year. That could be very useful if you're making YouTube videos full time. And this is nice to see as an option. It's very expensive looking, but it's nice to see that they have just a lifetime buy once option. 300 bucks is a lot. I'm not going to lie, but you'll have it forever. A license forever. I just, I like to see the option 
Most companies these days won't even give you the option to just purchase once, so at least it's there. Installation process looks very simple so far, except the end user license agreement and install. And there you go, install completed launch application. So here we are in the editing program. As you can see, drop a file or click to open. I've recorded some files that I want to run through this upscaler. All right, so the first clip that I'm going to test out here is a pretty good test, I think. As you can see, scrolling through this clip, it is just a low light clip. It's pretty grainy of my dog chewing on a toy. You can definitely see the grain in the background here. This is a 1080p clip, so we'll see if we can get some real enhancement on this little test. We'll just drag it right in here into the software. As you can see, it opens up. Tells us the name of the clip, the size, 1080p, it's 60 FPS, the duration. And we've also got a feature list here. We've got the AI face blur and the AI upscaler. Of course, we're using the upscale. And we've got some model settings here. So we've got the upscaler and we've got a few different options. So we can do standard, ultra, standard multi-frame and ultra multi-frame. Currently, we're testing out the standard multi-frame. And we've also got the denoising and the face refinement. There's no human faces in here, so I'm going to leave that one off. But there is a, quite a lot of noise, so we're going to see if we can't get rid of that. We've actually got some settings here, so we can increase brightness, for example, if we want to make the image brighter. And we've got saturation and contrast as well. We've also got the deinterlacing, but this is not interlaced footage and then we've got the output setting so video size 200 percent so that means we're going to be doubling the resolution of this 1080p video and we've got some formats here i'm just going to leave it at e4 in your save directory down there so this is where the video ends up and as we can see we can begin to process this if we so desire so i'll click the start processing button so here is our original clip here, and it should process our upscaled clip over on the other side. All right, so viewers, I have run some videos through this AI. I decided to do that off camera because it does take quite a bit of time, and understandably so, it's upscaling video, and it does actually run locally on your machine. As you can see in the settings here, we can pick our AI processor. In this case, it is my graphics card. But if you don't have a powerful graphics card, you could also pick your CPU, although I do believe it will actually be quite a lot slower considering this does use hardware acceleration. My graphics card processes them at usually about three seconds per frame. So if you have, you know, a very long video, it could take a few hours to process. It all depends on your graphics card, though. The much newer graphics cards that are just coming out today would definitely process these quite a lot faster than mine. So right here was my little test suite of videos. Like I said, we started out with my dog here. And here is the original clip that we are looking at. As you can see, it is very grainy over here. And the clip, you know, obviously contains a lot of moving around as he munches on this little toy. And, you know, overall, it's just a really tough situation, I think, for this upscaler to deal with. So let's see how it did. Here is the upscaled 4K footage. As you can see, it actually is quite a lot cleaner than the other footage that we were looking at previously. It did a great job of retaining all of the original audio. If we pause and do a freeze frame here, we can see that there actually is quite a lot of detail that has been smoothed out by the AI upscaler, but you know, this is a very tough situation. When you play the video, honestly, it looks really nice and clear and it looks completely fine. But you know, if you're doing pausing and nitpicking in freeze frames, you can tell that, you know, there's a lot of stuff that has been smoothed out. A lot of detail is smoothed out here, but the lack of distracting grain and nasty grain, like we saw with the first clip, definitely, I think, improves the overall experience here. The denoising did work really well. The blur also looks really good. That was something I was worried about. I was worried if I could do background blur. And it seems that the blur does, in fact, look pretty decent with this. It's just the fine details that you might struggle with. Like I said, though, something like a ghost hunting show, as an example, would actually be a really good use case for this because, you know, you're getting rid of all that nasty grain. And you're just focusing on the main details here. and You're not really worried about having some cinematic quality imagery. So this is a high detail clip. It's a nice fall imagery here. We've got some pumpkins, very detailed. If we continue to play it here, scrolls over to the next one there. So what we're looking for here is how well is it able to enhance the resolution while keeping 
all of the details. So here is the upscaled clip. As you can see, it looks very, very similar as expected, but the clip is definitely upscaled pretty well. Lots of really nice sharp lines. I think you can especially see that in the background here with all of this detail. This looks a lot sharper on my screen. It might be harder for you guys to necessarily tell at home, but everything does look really nice and sharp, especially in all the edges and corners. There is actually quite a lot of detail that was retained, but I think you'll notice in stuff like the pumpkin and in some of the leaves, it does look a little bit smoother and a little bit more smoothed out. So again, you know, if you're looking for like cinematic quality, this might not necessarily be for you, but it did a really good job at upscaling stuff for, I think, general purpose use. The next one was a really difficult one because it has a lot of intricate details. This next one was pretty difficult. Here's the original clip. It's a very, very detailed imagery of some fall leaves there, just sort of static on it. And here is the upscaled footage. And it actually handled a lot of it really quite well. I think almost all of this just looks a lot better in general. It definitely looks like it's 4K footage because it, it is upscaled 4K footage. But the one thing it had trouble with is these leaves here. You can see... A little bit of shimmering there as the upscaler tries its best to make sense of all of this, which is understandable. This is, you know, a little bit mushed. It's hard to get those indistinguished little leaves. So again, with cinematic footage here, I think you might find this uh, struggling. If this was a background imagery, you wouldn't really notice it, for example, and you're just focusing on a subject for a news clip, for example, maybe, or some other random YouTube video. Next one here is some more detailed imagery of leaves. I know it's a lot of leaf peeping going on today, but yeah, that's just a nice little clip of some close-up leaves. And as you can see, this one did a good job of upscaling the corners like we've been seeing, and I think it just struggled a little bit on the fine details here on the leaves. As you can see, they're a little bit more on the smoothed outside in comparison to the original clip. But you're getting much sharper edges, and it is a 4K clip, which is really nice. You can really see it on the edges of these leaves in comparison to the other one. This next clip here is another clip of my dog. This is just sort of a close-up of his face. We're going to see how well it's going to be able to capture the details on my dog's face here as he stares up at me. So let's see. With the upscaled clip here, we can definitely see that it retained a decent amount of detail here. Definitely added a lot of sharpening to the edges of his fur, for example, like we can see here. Very, very sharp image, very smooth image. It definitely smoothed out his face a little bit. The background blur, again, looks fantastic, but I think we lost a little bit of detail maybe over here and on the edges here, but it definitely is a 4K clip, and it actually retained quite a lot of data in his fur over here around the edges, especially around his mouth over here. It looks pretty darn good. So yes, everyone, that is AVC Labs Video Enhancement AI. I think this is a really nice step in the right direction for AI video upscaling. It's actually pretty incredible that we're already able to do video AI upscaling this well, considering how difficult it was not too long ago to just upscale straight up imagery. And that also has come a long way. Also seen with AVC Labs photo upscaler that they have as well. All of the products will be linked down in the description for you to go check out. And you do, of course, have that free trial so you can actually test this out for free and see if it works good with your particular footage if you are a creator. I think for people that are making videos in difficult situations where, you know, you can't get your lighting quality perfect all the time and you're not really necessarily focused on making cinematic looking footage, I could see a really nice use case for technology such as this and it really only is going to get better that is really quite good for a first iteration of a product like this video upscaling that really does work and is able to retain a decent amount of data like that while sharpening all of the edges is quite impressive i have to say and honestly it is able to do it in a reasonable amount of time it takes a lot of processing power for your computer to uh, you know generate all of these frames and doing about you know three seconds per frame i don't think that's too bad for my what is quite outdated of a graphics card at this point i'm really excited to see what avc labs video enhancement ai will bring it down the line as it updates and gets better at retaining all of that data that's really the main issue that we witnessed today is it's just struggling a little bit to retain some of that data, but it's really smoothing out the background quite well and removing the noise worked really well. I saw no noise in any of these videos that we upscaled today. 
Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I'm at Video Productions. Please check out the rest of my videos on my channel. Lots of fun stuff going on lately. And I will have all links down in the description below. I'll see you guys in the next one.